Mandeep, what's behind the Salesforce surge? I think it just goes to show that this is a company that has really scored big in cloud. They continue to show remarkable consistency when it comes to growth rates, you know, 20% plus all the time. And look, the enterprise spending is moving towards cloud. So companies like Amazon on the infrastructure side and Salesforce on the application side are the real winners and they will continue to do well. What does it mean for the broader tech sector to see uh, the success here, you know, given this can be an indicator for other you know, similar companies and competitors? Yes, yeah, so we did a report last week where we highlighted specifically Salesforce, ServiceNow, Adobe, and Workday as the biggest beneficiaries of this trend of cloud, especially on the application side. And, you know, uh, they're going to acquire companies as well. So these are the big players. They are going to go out and make cloud acquisitions. And we feel uh, 2019 will be the year where there'll be more cloud consolidation. Well, on the note of consolidation, we've seen IBM Red Hat, SAP, Qualtrics. Do you think we're going to see more M&A in 2019? Absolutely, and especially if there is more volatility in the market, especially the kind of you know volatility we have seen in the last couple of months. Uh, smaller cloud vendors, you know, the ones that, uh, that have revenue less than a billion dollars, they are the ones, uh, single product companies, they are the ones they're gonna probably look in terms of weighing their standalone prospects versus getting acquired by a large company like Salesforce or Workday or ServiceNow. So I, I think we are going to see acquisitions, but companies will have to pay up. I mean, look at SAP. They paid 20 times sales for Qualtrics. So, uh, you know, Adobe paid uh, similar uh, multiples for Marketo. So I think whatever cloud multiples, even IBM, for such a big deal, you know, uh, Red Hat, they pay uh, more than 10 times sales. So companies will have to pay up for cloud vendors, but I, I think that's where we are going with this. We recently spoke with the HPE CEO Antonio Neri and asked about M&A and he said that valuations are incredibly high. As you mentioned, can these valuations hold up? Uh, you know, do these acquisitions stand the test of time? I think cloud is such a remarkable, you know, predictable model that uh, companies, especially the legacy companies, I mean, if you look at somebody like Oracle, they would love to acquire a large uh, cloud company. So I, I think they will be willing to pay these high multiples just because you can buy predictable growth, which is very hard to get you know, on the consumer tech side or any other hardware semiconductor segment. Software cloud is the attractive, predictable segment, and I think companies will be willing to pay up for that kind of growth. Uh, what are the companies you're watching that could be in play? Yeah, so we think uh, the companies, the small to mid-cap companies in cloud like Cornerstone, Box, Ultimate Software, Zendesk, these are the names that are kind of single product, but they haven't scored big like the ones that I mentioned, ServiceNow, Salesforce, Workday. So they, they could be in play here.